another international conference is being held here today in Wales, in the location of the amazing Maldron Hotel in Cardiff. Over 45 different countries will be attending the prestigious Eco Schools International Conference to discuss the future of Eco Schools and to share ideas, but also to celebrate the 20th birthday of the Eco Schools programme. We are the young reporters for this conference and we've been interviewing many speakers and delegates. As the Chief Executive Officer for Keep Wheels Tidy, how important is it to hold such a prestigious event here in Cardiff? representing Keep Wheels Tidy? It's extremely important for us um, for a whole range of different reasons. Firstly, um, because it's the 20th anniversary, that was very special for us to be able to you know, be the country that hosted it on the 20th. Um, it's always wonderful to be able to bring people together um, who are friends, really, and even if you don't know somebody, you make friends very quickly in FEE because you're sharing you know, the, the, the same things that you want to achieve. FEE has launched many projects for sustainable education, such as Eco Schools and, of course, Young Reporters. Have you launched or are planning on launching any other projects, and do you think they will be as or more successful than the Eco Schools project? Uh... I think we always have plans, but I think we have to be very sure about uh, whether they uh, will have the success as the two mentioned by you, Joe. Um, but we have five programs in FEE altogether, besides the Young Reporters and the Eco School. We have another one related to an education called uh, Learning About Forest. And we have one more related to tourism, uh, Blue Flag and the Greek, green key for accommodations. How have you found the last six months since you have been involved in the Foundation for Environmental Education? Well, the last six months have been very interesting. It's the, we've been in with the Foundation for Environmental Education, FEE for short, um, since 2008, but I've been on the board for the last six months. Clearly the US is massive compared to Wales. How on earth do you manage it all? That I ask myself that every day. But it's um, we are big. We're in the fee family. We would be considered more of a continent, and that our individual we have 50 states within the United States, and each of them is more like a country. You talk that you're looking for ways to tackle the issues in a long-term way. However, does that mean that you will still be open to short-term ideas and still use them if they have the potential to continue? Very good question. Um, very good question. Um, yeah, it's about balance, really. Um, I think that we're very conscious that uh, everything is driven by very short-term priorities. So, um, at government level, you know, politicians are concerned about the next election. So that's at a maximum of five years, really. Today we have been here in the Maldron Hotel in Cardiff speaking to international de delegates to help us understand how Eco Schools programmes are being run across the world. Today we have found out great information from all the delegates that we have never met before and had an eye from around the world. With the help of the Keep Wales Tidy staff, we have really enjoyed our day and I'm sure that none of us will be forgetting it for a long time. So it's goodbye from me, Ethan Pitt. And me, Mullen Fitzpatrick. And me, Jerry's. Goodbye.